What's up, my friends? Welcome back. John Levesque here. It has been like three or four weeks since I put out a new video, took some time off, took a bit of a break in between jobs, but now I am landed here at DocuSign firmly. I've been here for a few weeks. I've met my team. I've gotten the lay of the land. I'm starting to feel very comfortable in understanding what work is going to take place. And so today I wanted to start a new series. I want to start a series on getting started with DocuSign. And so today I'm actually going to walk you through uh, a couple of free experiences in how you can get started with DocuSign, you know, kick the tires, play around, see how you feel about the tech, touch the APIs, all that good stuff. And so uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to bring up my screen here and uh, let's go ahead and jump into the material. So the first thing I want to show you here is there are two experiences that you are going to find on the internet when starting with DocuSign. If you search DocuSign trial, uh, very likely you're going to get brought to this link, go.docusign.com slash trial. Okay. Now this is perfectly okay. Uh, you could go ahead and sign up here, but the thing I want you to know is if you sign up for a trial, what's going to happen is at the end of 30 days, you're going to have to pay to keep everything going. Also, you're very likely going to be contacted by our sales team. And so if you want to be contacted by the sales team, if you want to play around for 30 days and then talk to someone about it, perfect. This is the route for you. Go.docusign.com slash trial. I'll have all the links down in the description as well. So don't worry about trying to write it down. You can just go ahead down there and click. Okay, so that's the trial experience. It's gonna give you a, a fully featured account. You're gonna get to use all the features, but it will lock after 30 days. Now, the experience that I do actually want to focus in on and show you today is how is our developer account. And, uh, and so this is a little bit of a different link. It's go.docusign.com slash sandbox. Now there's all this other stuff over there, UTM codes, all that goodness. But if you just put in that link or click it down in the description, you're going to see that it's going to take you uh, to a similar page, I guess. Um, and so I'll have this exact link for you down in the description. And so what you're going to do here is you're going to put in some information. I'm going to go ahead and just put in my information. I'm going to put in an old spam email account that I have. You guys have a spam email account where you just send all the stuff that you don't really want to check to a certain email account and then all the good stuff to a main account. I don't know if that's how you do it. That's how I do it. So I'll use my spam account here to sign up today. Uh, I work for DocuSign, and so I'm going to go ahead and put them in. I'm in the United States. I am not a partner, and I do agree. So let's go ahead and click Get Started. All right. Now it's going to say, check your email and check it out. Log into Outlook. It's even got a button. I don't need that. I already have my Outlook pulled up. We'll go ahead and click on the Activate button here. And then we're going to set a password. And uh, let me see. Let's set a password that I am going to remember. Uh, that's important. Security question. Uh, what's the name of your best friend from childhood? I'm going to make something up because I'm just going to delete this account later. His name was not Steven. Uh, but that's all right. We'll say it was. I do not want to save any of that. Okay, and so now here we are in a fully featured DocuSign sandbox area. And so you can actually uh, go through this nice little checklist they have here. If you check out this first run experience, I think it's pretty cool. We can click through it together. It says make the most of, of your account. We've created a checklist to help you get the most out of your account. Got it. Okay, and so you can easily track the status of all your envelopes here. Got it. You can start an envelope by dropping a document, or you can also click start for some more options. Awesome. And so let's see what those are. Send an envelope, sign a document, use a template, or create a power form. And so the two I'm going to talk about real quick, and we're actually going to dive into in another set of videos, is the templates and the power forms. All right. So first, what are templates? Uh, templates are an easy way to get started. Like if you have a contract that you send out to every customer before getting started, uh, some standard non-disclosure or, or legal terms, you could create a template out of that item. You could then set fields in it and never have to worry about it again. 
You just send it off to that customer. They have everything in the right place where it needs to be filled out. It prompts them for all the correct spots for initials and signatures, and you're set. Uh, and now what is a power form? Uh, a power form is actually, it's, it's something I haven't played with a whole lot yet, but I'm very excited to, because you guys know me, I've used Microsoft forms and customer voice. Uh, I've had a lot of fun uh, building automation around those things. And so to get to check out power forms from DocuSign, it being a very similar thing, a way to intake data from a form, uh, which then, you know, goes into your system of record. Uh, it's, it's another tool to add to the repertoire. It's another uh, exciting piece to add on. And so that's uh, power forms and, and also, um, templates and you can see templates has its own area here. We can create new ones. You can create it from blank. You can upload something or you can go ahead and create that power form here to go ahead and start grabbing information. Uh, there's a report area. Obviously I haven't sent anything out because this account is brand new. So there's no reports, but once you start sending things out, you'll begin to see some data appear here. But then I want to just take a quick second and show you the settings panel. This is very important as an admin, as somebody managing DocuSign, this area will be extremely important for you to familiarize yourself with uh, because there's a few things here, right? Security settings, regional settings, all the branding, what users have access, what permissions they have, who are the signing groups, uh, and then a lot of the, the behind the scenes stuff, sending orders, all the integrations. Uh, you know, we can go here and get all of our apps and keys um, and, and I'm going to go ahead and, and just blur those out, uh, because I don't want you guys to, to grab these API keys. I'm just going to go ahead and actually and delete this account right after. Um, but here is where, you know, if we needed our API username or our account ID or the base URI, we can gather that information here. I think I actually, uh, Yash showed some of this in the video that I did with him and how to integrate the API with Power Automate. Uh, if you saw that one, if not, uh, go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a link to it in, in the description. It's a good one for sure. Um, but this admin area will be vastly important. We will spend a lot of time here. We'll go through all the parts. Uh, I'm excited to do this getting started series with you. I'm going to end it there today. I think that's enough information. Go ahead and sign up for a developer account. Start clicking around try and create a template, see what it's like to send an envelope and just get used to the experience. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the description. I'll be happy to answer them as quick as I can. But other than that, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and click like and click subscribe so that you don't miss another video. And if you want to get notifications, go ahead and click on that bell and then you'll get a pop up in your browser anytime new content comes out. All right. That's it from me, my friends. Much love. I will see you in the next one.